Hi. So right here we have my Nintendo Pi. This is an original 1985 Nintendo with a Type 2 Raspberry Pi inside of it. I'm running RetroPie on it for the emulation. The boot screen in the beginning was actually custom by me. We actually have all the buttons now hooked up through a Mosberry Pi circuit that I bought with the link below. These ports are actually USB linked but are the original style Nintendo ports and can be used with original Nintendo controllers as we're going to see in a minute. These were also purchased on Amazon. I will go ahead and put those in the uh, links below as well. So as you can see this is an original Nintendo controller. Let's see how well it works. Play a little bit of Super Mario Brothers. <clears throat> now this system runs better than I can actually play these games. Okay, so, as you can see, I am not the world's greatest at this game. But let's go ahead and see how well it plays some Super Nintendo games. So as you can see here, this original Nintendo controller is not going to play Super Nintendo games that well. We're missing a lot of buttons here. That's what I have. My Xbox controller. But you say, there's no USB here. How are we going to ever hook this up? Inside we have a USB hub hooked into one of the Raspberry Pi circuits, or Raspberry Pi USBs. Let's go ahead and plug in this controller and see how well this does with Super Nintendo. The system is a little finicky at the left and right when you do this. Definitely a pain in the butt. Again, I don't know if this is part of the ROM or the original game, but you gotta wait for the music to play out in this part. Okay. So again, this actually plays the games better than I can actually personally play them. Alright, let's go ahead and see how it plays maybe a PlayStation game. Now, we could do Final Fantasy 9 or Final Fantasy 7, but let's go ahead and do Odd World Abe's Odyssey. Because I really like that game and it's got a quick intro and I've already got a save on it. I did so many drawings and paintings of Abe in college. So yeah, it can load saves so you can play any of the RPGs or anything that didn't have codes, just like you could if it was an actually originally a PlayStation game.
By the way, don't pull that lever. You'll kill that Modokin. Not only is this game fun, but it plays pretty well. So as you can see, we can play lots of different games. This does have a section to play N64, but I found it still a little buggy, and I'm sure there's still I need to work out more to get that running well. So if you have any questions, post them below, and I'll see what I can do to answer it. I'm no way a tech expert, but at least I got it built. So thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.